What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Luna is saying goodbye to you guys. Um, my name is Meg. I do put out videos a couple times a week or at least I try to. So if you aren't subscribed already, consider doing so. Today I have an unbagging for you guys. I got my Ipsy bag in the mail. I know I missed the last two months, but things have been pretty crazy. Um, I think I have most of my items in my October bag, so if you guys want to stick around at the end to see what I got last month, I'll show you really fast. But yeah, this is going to be November's bag, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this is what the bag looks like. I like how it's just kind of like constellations, but with makeup that's super cute, and there's a little star right there on the, the zipper. But before I get into that, I do like going through and looking at the card, and there's stuff in here. Oh, cool. So I got a face mask, and this is the Botanical Mask Pack, and this is a collagen and olive one, and it does look like it could be Japanese or Chinese. So basically for this mask, it just wants you to clean your face, of course, and apply a toner, and then leave this on for 10 to 20 minutes, remove, and then pat the excess into your face. So I am super excited to try this out especially okay so this one says that it's going to provide a radiant glow and brightening benefits to dull skin which is pretty good considering we're about to hit winter and like a super dry season even more dry here in the desert so let's see what there oh there's more in here i don't know if i was supposed to get so many masks and maybe i'm only going to have like one or two things inside my bag but i got three masks total which is pretty cool all from the same brand and this one is a chamomile and tea tree one same directions and it just says this is going to provide pore tightening benefits for oily skin so even though i don't have oily skin i'll still test this out just because i love using masks and the third one here is a sodium hydro i can't say this word <laughs> hyaluront and lotus i know i said that wrong and this one is going to provide hydration for dry skin so this is probably going to be the main mask for me so i'm super pumped to try those out like that's exciting that i got sheet masks so i love sheet masks so this is what the november card looks like and then on the back it just gives you information on ipsy which by the way if you are not familiar i do have a little spiel in the description box down below along with a link to sign you up and to check out more information so be sure to check out that down bar there's tons of useful information in there so let's get into the actual bag i am excited for this it's a tart product It's their maracuja oil. I am so excited to try this out, especially with my skin being super duper dry. This came at such a good time. So let's go ahead and try to open it. By the way, I know my nails look jank. I actually used the nail polish. I think it was a Ciate nail polish that came in last month's bag. And it hasn't even, it's been like a week and my nails are so chipped. Um, but anyways, it looks like it is a nice little serum. I love that it has a little pump on there. I'm super excited to try this out. And the directions say to just apply two to three drops of oil in your hands, rub them together, pat on clean, dry skin on face and neck. And you can also use it on your cuticles to tame flyaways and condition split ends and hydrate dry and rough patches on your body. Super excited that I got this. All right, so here is, speaking of Ciate, I don't think it was the Ciate nail polish. I forget what it was. I think it was one that you can find at Walmart, and it, like, literally, no bueno. But anyways, this is a liquid velvet. I don't even know if they made, like, other makeup products besides nail polish, so that's fun. This is their liquid lipstick in the shade Diva, so it's a nice red-orange color see what the applicator looks like and I'll do a swatch for you guys this looks super pigmented oh yeah that is super creamy that is gonna be so pretty especially for the holidays like it is a true ruby red from what it looks like 
Here is another mascara sample. This is Mad Lash Black Mascara by The Balm. I can't say that I've heard of this product before. And by the way, all these sample mascaras, instead of screwing, you just kind of like pop them up. So this looks like it could be the kind of one that could be really great at getting to the root of your lashes because it has that curve. And the bristles look very similar to the bristles that are on the side of the their reel by Benefit. So I'm excited to try that out. I love mascara. And the last guy that's in here, wow, so I feel like that's kind of a bonus because there are four items in my bag. And then the face mask would count as the fifth item because normally you get five items, but they gave me three. So I don't know if like everyone got that or maybe I just got lucky. But this looks like another nail polish by Formula X in here. Ooh, this is interesting. It looks like almost like navy green and brown. Ooh. This is in the shade Huntress. This looks super interesting and super pretty. Um, I would totally look at a swatch online if you could because I doubt the camera is going to pick this up. Like I'll just do a quick swatch on my one bare nail really fast. Because I'm interested to see, like, what this looks like. Oh, that's, like, emerald green. That's so pretty. Okay, so maybe it's still kind of hard to see because I literally just applied this and it's still super wet. But it is this gorgeous emerald green nail color. That is so pretty. I mean, I might just have to paint my nails this tonight. That's so gorgeous. Anyways, that is what I got in the November bag, and I still have my October bag sitting here, so that's what the bag looks like. Let's see what I have left in here. I think I left this sitting out knowing that I was, uh, I had the intention to make a video, but just never got around to it. Alright, so this is by Pure Cosmetics, and this is Dirty Girl Detoxifying Mud Mask. Yes, ah, oh, I've been waiting to try this out. My skin has been breaking out lately. By the way, I'm sorry about the lighting. Like, the sun is literally down right now, and my little light is trying to eliminate me. But anyways, basically it says to just treat for 20 minutes and then wash off with warm water. I'm excited. My skin needs some deep cleaning for sure. And then I did get the shadow by the balm, and this is called Hot Mama. And you can also use this as a blush. This is a really pretty color. It kind of reminds me of Fireball from Urban Decay. So right there, it's just a nice, beautiful peachy color. Ooh, this would pair super nice with Fireball by Urban Decay. So it definitely has a gorgeous sheen to it. I can easily see how this could be used as a blush as well. It's super pigmented. So normally there's five items. I think that the fifth item was this nail polish, by the way. I mean, we all see how well that worked out. <laughs> and then there is this uh, Trezonique lip product, and this is a mini matte lip crayon in Belize Bordeaux. So this is like a wine red color. I'm going to put this above. So it's like not as intense. It's right there. It's just more of a soft looking lip. Again, gorgeous for fall. And the last thing that I am super excited about is the NYX Vivid Brights Liner. I have like about six or seven of these. So when I first saw the box, I was like, oh no, I hope it's not a color that I have. But it's in um, their silver color, which luckily is not one that I have. And this is in the shade Gunmetal. So excited to try this. See, I was so good in everything. Like, I didn't even undo this because I know the second I start getting into these little bags, I'll forget to film it. Ugh. Open. I cannot say enough good things about these Vivid Bright liners. Like, they're seriously amazing. They're so affordable. If you want to get into more abstract makeup, like, it's the perfect way to get into it because it is so affordable. I do feel silly, like, repeating myself right there, but I love, oh, this is so nice. 
My only complaint with the Vivid Brights is their white liner. It does tend to crack and be a little patchy, but like the rest of the colors are amazing and have great payoff. So you can just see how beautiful that silver liner is. I am so excited to use these products. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye.